Hi everybody, it's Curse, and today I'm going to bless you with the world first Diablo 4 beta world boss fight. So Yurashi Aimase and let's jump right in. So Blizzard failed a little bit and they let everybody know that the world boss will spawn at 10 a.m. PDT and the entire world was sitting in this one spot in the game at 10 a.m. waiting for the boss to spawn and the boss was just wasn't coming. I guess it wasn't working right or somebody set the wrong timer or whatever, but eventually it spawned one hour later at 11 a.m. PDT and this is the video from the very first world boss fight. The fight is really cool. The camera zooms out, you get this huge view of the boss and you're this puny little barbarian compared to the massive monster that you're fighting and in terms of mechanics you get 15 minutes to fight the boss. I'm not sure what happens after that 15 minutes because in my case we managed to defeat the boss with, I don't know, a few minutes to spare. But I was worried in the middle of the fight. You can see me switching for more DPS skills and foregoing defenses just to get a little bit more damage out and make sure that we take him down before the timer expires. And then in terms of the boss's mechanics as well, he had like three or four different attack moves. One of them was aimed at long range heroes like sorcerers or rogues or whatever, where he takes his wing and he just kind of sweeps across the entire screen basically slowly. So it's somewhat e easy to dodge you can see where he's gonna do it and you can see it coming from a mile away and the easiest way to dodge it is to just go close to him it does not damage you if you're right underneath him another attack was where he takes both of his wings high up and two circles appear on the ground just to signal that the damage is coming that way and then he slams the two wings in those two spots afterwards he drags the two wings behind himself and so in doing that, he damages everybody to his sides. The easiest way to dodge that, you'll notice from the video, is by staying literally right underneath him. You don't get damaged that way. And then there's an attack where he just lifts one wing and there's a big circle that appears. And he throws it down on that spot. That's more aimed towards hitting melee characters. But yeah, with some getting used to, I think you can dodge most of his attacks. I was only level 24 and I did okay in the fight. I spec'd quite a bit for tankiness across multiple skills and I was testing how much you could face tank him. <laughs> you can clearly see that face tanking the world boss is not the right play. But with enough damage reduction I think you can withstand quite a bit. Overall the fight was a lot of fun though. It did give me a little bit of an MMO vibe which I'm not sure that is going to be amazing after like 3 to 6 months doing these prolonged 15 minute fights but we'll see. What I would love to see in, in a big fight like that is a damage recap. If they can just give you a tab where it tells you how much each hero present at the fight did from a damage perspective, who did the most percent damage, who tanked the most, I think that would be so much fun and so useful because like you never know what you're doing in these boss fights. They have so much HP, you're like, am I tickling him? Am I doing anything? How am I doing compared to everybody else? And they can even tie that to like an extra reward to give a, an incentive to the highest damage dealer or the highest healer or something like that. Or draw randomly from the top five damage dealers, just give one of them a bonus reward. I think that would be a cool functionality. And it would allow us to just understand better how our builds are performing in these fights. Because sometimes you spec into a build that does more damage, but you're squishier so you end up dying more. And really, you know, when you're dead, you're not swinging, you're not doing damage, so it's hard to gauge how well you're performing. One more scary thing that I saw was that at the beginning of the video, you'll notice there was this rewards, weekly bonus spoils, the cash that you get from the world boss. So I guess you get one of these per week. I don't know, to me, that's not ideal to force the player to do their these dailies and these weeklies. I know how it works from a psychology perspective. You're bringing players back in and you're just dangling that carrot <laughs> in front of them. But that part is definitely a, a component of MMO games that I don't really enjoy. Gotta do my dailies. Yeah. But anyway, the fight was still really fun. And between the boss dropping like four unique and then the reward cash dropping another four, I think. It's very much worth doing. You get like eight legendaries in like 20 minutes. It's pretty good. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I face tanked a Shava in the name of science. And if you're looking for more Diablo 4 content, please like, please subscribe. I'll be posting more and more 
from the beta and then when the game comes out as well. Oh, and a huge thanks to everybody who's joined my streams recently. It's been so much fun exploring the game with all of you. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Anyway, take it easy. Put you so some of this
Syndicate.